Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. If you've ever wondered which printer to use to print photos onto a candle, should I use an inkjet or a laser printer? I've tested both and I can tell you which one to use and why. I've test printed my designs on just normal copy paper. I'm going to do three designs today. I'm going to test the same three designs on the tissue paper, one using the inkjet printer and one using the laser printer. I'll show you the difference between tissue paper and copy paper. This is our normal everyday printer paper on the left and the tissue paper on the right. There's a huge difference. The printer paper is 80 GSM and the tissue paper is 17 GSM. You can see through it. It's very, very fine. You can crinkle it up very easily. It's used for gift wrapping and flowers. It is a little bit tricky to print on. There is a technique to it. The tissue paper needs to be put over the top of your copy paper and either sticky tape or glued to the back like this. You do have to print this design directly onto the tissue paper. I've linked the how to transfer a photo onto a candle below. It's a video I made before this one. It is really good. It shows you step by step how to put this transfer onto the candle. So here I am printing on my inkjet printer. The tissue paper is wrapped around my copy paper and that is actually printed onto the tissue paper. And here is the laser printer. Same, tissue paper is wrapped around the copy paper. Now the comparison printout, I'll talk you through it and show you the close-up. Now I've used the inkjet printer is the colour and the laser printer is the black on the white. Now the inkjet printer has worked out quite well even though the, I've just used the black on the top the colour on the flowers has turned out okay. There's a little bit of bleed on the tissue paper now this is the laser print. See how the inkjet, the tissue paper has stayed laying flat? Now have a look at this tissue paper on the laser printer one. It's curled up and that's because laser printer uses heat print and it's shrunk the tissue paper. Now while it was going through, it's creased the tissue paper. It hasn't printed on it properly. See the crease marks there? It may be difficult for you to see on video, but there's crease marks all through it. There's crease marks, there's a hit and miss of the toner going onto the paper. It's really not a favourable print. So the verdict is out. The inkjet printer is the printer to use to print photos to transfer onto a candle not the laser printer. Do not use the laser printer for this method. The text turns out okay. So this is what the tissue paper looks like before you fuse it onto the candle. The wraparound design looks really good. Now this is the laser printing one. From a distance it looks okay but it really in real person it does not. It didn't turn out good at all. I'm just going to put these transfers on the candle so you can see what they look like finished. Like I said, you can go and watch the video of how I do this. The link is below. Okay. The inkjet wins. Designing your own candle covers are really fun. This one, I love the wrap. This one looks really nice. If you like this design of this flower wrap, give me a yell and I'll send it out to you. 
I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.